Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the UK and for Europe too uh, for the next month with the ECMWF 30-day uh, model at the Hungarian uh, Met Office. So a big thank to the Hungarian Met Office for providing us with these charts. So we're going to have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies over the next four weeks. Um, and we can't see being sea level pressure or 500 bit of our heights with this, but it will give us a rough idea of what the broad pattern is as we uh, move through the next month. It takes us well into April. So just to say that coming up later on uh, this afternoon, we're going to have your week to 10 day video update, have all of the latest information on Storm Gareth as well. Proper wet and windy uh, day out there today. Very nasty. Uh, we'll have more on that today's second video update. Right, so this is week one temperature anomaly for our forecast period. It's week 11 for uh, the year for 2019. This is taking us from the 11th through to the 17th of March. And the temperature anomaly is looking rather cool in the far north of Europe in the week ahead. It's below average there across much of Scandinavia. Many parts of the UK and Ireland looking rather cool as well. Although down in the far south and southeast of England, it is a little bit milder. Uh, through there. Otherwise, it's quite a mild scene across many parts of Europe, particularly the central regions, so Germany through to Poland, through to Ukraine and into Black Sea. Uh, many of those areas are coming out with above average temperature anomalies of between 1 and 3 degrees above average. France is a little bit on the cool side, away from northern parts of France anyway. Uh, Belgium, Holland, a little bit above average. I mean, going down into the Mediterranean, generally quite a mild scene. It's rather cool uh, around Portugal and going up to um, the northern part of Spain. But down in southern and eastern parts of Spain, the holiday areas, looks nice and uh, warm down there. And generally quite a warm scene uh, through much of the Mediterranean as well in the week ahead. Also warm in the southeastern Med, down through Greece and Turkey. So not too bad at all. Most parts of Europe are coming out with milder average temperature anomalies this week. But very unsettled. It's uh, much wetter than average across the northwest of Europe. So for the UK and for Ireland, significantly above average precipitation anomalies. Many central parts or western parts of Europe also coming out with uh, much wetter than average conditions. So France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, Denmark, those areas coming out substantially uh, wetter than average. Going further north to Scandinavia, so uh, it's a fairly dry scene across uh, much of Norway, or central northern parts of Norway, Norway anyway, but down across southern Norway and through towards uh, Sweden, it's, uh, it's significantly wetter through those areas. Uh, the Mediterranean, rather dry, so it's a nice week actually down in the Med, if you want to get on a plane and uh, have a fly to uh, a holiday area like the Costas or the Balearic Islands, it does look quite nice this week. Warm than average temperatures and also pretty dry as well from Spain and Portugal over towards Corsica and Sardinia. The southeastern corner of Europe looking a little bit more unsettled and quite wet perhaps uh, around Greece in the week ahead. Moving through to uh, week two, this is how things are looking. So it's week 12 of the year, week two for our forecast period. It's the 18th to the 24th of March. Overall, quite a warm scene across most of Europe. The warmest anomalies to average, though, are on this eastern side. So becoming really warm, actually, from uh, sort of the, the Balkans, southeastern parts of Europe and the Black Sea, and going up towards western parts of Russia. We're up to three to six degrees above average. In those areas, so a lot uh, milder than average, and uh, warmer than average to uh, most parts of Scandinavia as well, and then coming down in towards Germany and Italy, it also looks pretty uh, mild there, one to three degrees above average. In the very far west of Europe, so for Ireland, the UK, France, Spain, and Portugal, temperatures are much closer to average. So the coolest weather is in the west of Europe this week. But it is, it is only um, around average. It's not like it's a particularly cold week at all. Just that's where the coolest anomalies uh, to average uh, are. Precipitation-wise, uh, from the 18th to the uh, 24th of February, it's not quite as unsettled, but still generally much of Northern Europe coming out wet and average. So many parts of Scandinavia looking quite wet. Much of the UK and Ireland still above average precipitation. And down into some of these central parts of Europe with sort of average to slightly above average with precipitation. Driest um, weather is in the east and southeast of Europe. So warm and dry in the east and southeast of Europe uh, this week. And then going over towards Spain and Portugal also looking 
fairly warm and dry bear, maybe a little bit more showery uh, through the Mediterranean. I think the broad pattern this week is that high pressure is beginning to strengthen out towards Spain and Portugal, uh, but we still have low pressure up here across the northern parts of Europe, so we're still influenced by the jet stream to some degree, but probably starting to turn uh, a little bit more settled. And then we go through to week three. This one takes us from the 25th of March through to the uh, 31st uh, of the month, so the final day of March. And it's a mild sea across most parts of Europe, so uh, particularly northern areas are coming out uh, with above average temperature anomalies again, of between uh, one to three degrees above average. Looks pretty mild through Ireland and the UK as well, so we're ending March on a mild note uh, here. Only places that are perhaps a little bit cooler are kind of like France and uh, some parts of western uh, Germany, and then probably down in towards southeast Europe, it's a little bit too cooler bear. But overall, quite a mild scene. Looks quite warm through the Med, and uh, most central and northern parts of Europe are looking. Uh, really quite mild. It's turning drier as well. We're losing those above average precipitation uh, anomalies. So uh, perhaps still a little bit unsettled for parts of Scandinavia, Western Scotland. So you would think that the jet stream being pushed up here to some degree. Uh, drier than average down to our south and southwest. So we're much of Spain and Portugal into France and southern parts of England also becoming uh, a little bit drier. Otherwise, we're going to sort of average precipitation across most central and northern east parts of Europe. That's as the signal is weakening, of course. Uh, down in the Mediterranean, looks rather dry. So, uh, pretty warm and dry sort of uh, a sort of month coming up, actually, uh, in the Med, seemingly. Very nice uh, week ahead, or a month ahead, I should say. And then we're uh, through to week four. It's week 14 for 2019. It's the first through to the 7th of April. So going through the first week of April, we find that much of northern and eastern Europe looking much milder than average. In the west and the southwestern through central parts of Europe, temperatures are closer to average. But generally, it's quite a mild month coming up. I think there's no suggestion, really, of anything particularly cold anywhere, uh, except in week one across uh, Scandinavia. It does look quite cold there. But overall, average to above average temperature anomalies are looking likely in the week ahead and becoming drier across the west of Europe as well. Clearly, high pressure is developing in the west. So we see uh, the UK, we see um, France, the low countries, all of these regions are becoming drier with high pressure building from the Atlantic, pushing the jet stream up to the north. The jet stream is going up there. Uh, up towards uh, Norway. So it's drier in the west and uh, under high pressure conditions, a return of spring-like weather. Most central and eastern parts of Europe, again, we're uh, struggling to get a signal. I think the signal is weakening as we get through to week four, as it usually does. It's coming out just with average precipitation, but you would suspect uh, overall that it's just the fact that the model is losing its signal. So there's no suggestion of anything particularly cold coming up in the month ahead across most parts of Europe. Actually, it seems we're in for generally quite a quite a mild, quite a warmish month, and with a fair amount of uh, dry weather as well uh, as get later on into in towards the end of March, beginning of April. We begin quite unsettled, so the next week is going to have quite a lot of rain, particularly for northern and western parts of Europe. But once we get the next week out of the way, the trend looks like is to drier conditions and increasingly warm spring is going to be arriving by the look of it, not just for the UK, but for much of Europe in the next four weeks. So I have to make sure that we enjoy it. Right, that's your uh, um, month head broadcast with the ECM. WF. I don't think we'll have this uh, next week. I've got a, uh, a busy day coming up next Tuesday. So I don't think I'll be able to get two, two videos in. So we'll probably rest this next week and we'll bring it back uh, in two weeks time. Uh, so um, next ECM doing our 30 day look will be in a couple of weeks um, coming up later on today we've got week 10 day video updates we'll come back for that then that's all for now and thanks for watching